Welcome to Radio Friends on Friday, March the 28th. And uh, we've got one guest today, Karen Grindler. Welcome to the Radio Friends, Karen. Thank you, Paul. you are here from Cedar Creek Therapeutic Writing Center. In fact, I would say you are Cedar Creek Therapeutic <laughs> Writing Center. Uh, for people who are not familiar with what Cedar Creek is, why don't you give us an overview? Well, um, Cedar Creek Therapeutic Riding Center is a certified equestrian therapy center here in Columbia, Missouri. Um, since 1988, for the past 26 years, we provide equine therapy to people with physical, mental, and emotional disabilities. Um, what people don't understand is that the movement of the horse is the exact same movement as the human walk. So um, the horse goes up and down, side to side, forward, backward, and diagonal. And that four-dimensional movement, if you take somebody who's sitting in a wheelchair or walking with mechanical aids or having physical problems and you put them on the back of that horse, that movement goes up through their body into their shoulders and their spine. And it's... Uh, Rocking, rotating movement helps to strengthen the large muscle groups in the stomach and the back and the legs and the shoulders and the arms. Um, so riding on the back of the horse, our occupational therapists say, is equivalent to going to the gym and, for example, doing six different machines, 30 minutes each machine. But instead of spending three hours in a gym, you can just get on the back of the horse and ride for an hour. And all of that movement is going through your body, strengthening, toning. And then there's also the fun thing of getting on the back of a thousand pound animal, telling it when to go, when to stop, and being in control. And so for our riders with a mental disability, that's what they get out of the therapeutic riding is, is that sense of control and that sense of self-accomplishment. And then we have riders that come to Cedar Creek with emotional disabilities. We get children who have been abused or veterans with PTSD, and it's that bond, it's that relationship that they form with the horse, um, someone that, that doesn't... Uh that they don't have to be afraid of, someone that they can trust. Yes, not judging and, them. Yes, and as a result of that bond, um, they're able to go out and start getting back into working in society, being with other people, or maybe just forming relationships with people. So for everybody that rides a horse, we have a different goal. It might be physical, it might be mental, it might be emotional, but for everybody, it's just fun riding a horse. We don't say to a child riding on the horse as we're going through a trail uh, out in the woods, oh, we're really strengthening and toning those core muscle mm -hmm. groups now, Bobby, aren't we? You know, we just have fun in the woods and ride on the trails. And then the magic just happens naturally. So how many people have you got coming out to ride? About 106 riders a week with the help of 15 incredible horses. Um, right now, this spring session in 2014. So you've got 15 horses and over 100 people mm -hmm. coming out. Is this every day? Um, Wednesdays, afternoon and evening, Thursday afternoons and evening, Friday afternoons and Saturday mornings Okay, is when we have lessons. Are you looking for volunteers to help out? Well, we're in the middle of a spring session right now, so we've got the volunteers that we need. Now, of course, we'll need volunteers in the summer mm -hmm. um, when all the college kids leave. That's always something that Cedar Creek is And what do the volunteers for. do? Well, if you have horse experience, um, you lead a horse around the arena. Um, if you don't, you're a sidewalker. You walk alongside of the ride and help them maintain balance or give them encouraging words or whatever it is that they need. Mm -hmm. well, something special has happened with Cedar Creek earlier, right? Well, this past uh, fall in November, we took some of our riders up to the American Royal in Kansas City. It's a mm -hmm. national horse show, a uh, big deal, real big deal. I mean, it's a national horse show. Um, they have an exceptional challenge cup, the United Professional Horsemen's Association. And so we had four of our riders qualify. And we went up to the show, and one of our riders, uh, Eli Miller, um, ended up getting reserve national champion. At Congratulations. The show. Congratulations. I had a call from one of our listeners who said we had to have you on to talk about this because it's a pretty big deal. Well, what's a big deal about it was, um, first of all, this is his fourth or fifth year to try to get into the finals and win. And so he's been working hard at that goal. And so to win was really extremely cool. Yeah. Um, but the horse was a big part of it too that made it really special. Um, we've got these gypsy vanners out at Cedar Creek. They're a very rare breed that you don't really see a lot. Um, they're called golden retrievers on hooves mm -hmm. uh, because they're very gentle, but they're very beautiful and very stocky. And so we took the two that were donated to us this past year by Lisa 
Chase and Hamp Ford uh, to the Royal, both Tally and Lottie. And it was something that's never been seen in the Exceptional Challenge Cup. Those beautiful horses came prancing in and the whole, uh, uh, you know, uh, Royal Stadium was just like in awe that's and we got wonderful. a lot of attention. That's and so wonderful. It was really cool. Our horses come from all sorts of places. Yeah. We have a horse out at Cedar Creek. Uh, his name is Clyde and uh, he was donated by the Christopher Reeves Paralysis Foundation. Um, we were the very first therapeutic riding center in the nation to get funding from them and uh, and I almost had the opportunity to meet Chris but I ended up getting to meet his wife Dana and they were some really wonderful people. Um, she, When I met her and told her I was from Cedar Creek in St. Louis she immediately said well how's Clyde the horse? So she remembered that they had made the donation of Clyde. Yeah she remembered that Creek. they'd given us the money to buy a horse and she remembered the name of the horse and I was I, I said wow you remember the name of the horse we bought and she said well you know horses were Chris's downfall but I do know that they can help people and so that one did kind of stick in my head yeah yeah well you you you, you do such wonderful work for so many people and I, I I would imagine that folks some folks in the community don't even realize that Cedar Creek is there but you're such an asset to this area, to Central oh, Missouri. Oh, and you know, we, I feel like it's so much like we, when we start up a session, the joy for me is the new kids that we get mm -hmm. that I know um, are going to change. I know that kids who um, weren't talking are going to start using their first words. I know that kids who aren't showing any signs of walking and aren't supporting their own weight are going to start walking. Mm. Um, I know that we're going to make big changes. So, so it's you, a fun you job. you perform little miracles out there. Every, every day. Yes, Karen. If people would like to have more information about Cedar Creek Therapeutic Writing Center or if they would like to help out either by volunteering or financially, how do they do that? Well, our phone number is uh, 573 875 8556, and you can always call us to get involved. Um, our next volunteer training for the summer will be June 9th. Okay. I can remember that because it's my birthday. And, well, uh, happy and that, birthday early. <laughs> and that will be our training for the summer session. Okay. All right. So they can just come out on June the 9th and volunteer, or anytime they want to mail a check to Cedar Creek Therapeutic Riding Center, they are welcome. All right, you. Karen Gardner, thank you so much for coming by and keep thank up you. the good work, okay? It's my pleasure. Tomorrow, Broadway Christian Church and the Greenhouse Theater Project are topic. Our program directed by Travis McMillan of the Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director, Amy Simon, who ran in here to help us. Thank you, Amy. And our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. We'll see you um, Monday. Yeah, have a good weekend. Bye-bye.